Major Slack Videos. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Videos. Your first stop for titillating tactical Elder Ring gameplay. Let's get underway. Aim broke, don't fix it, so I'm going to go live commentary again. Back to Shiafa River Well Depths. I'll explain on the way. We're going to do a big run through Shiafa River. Get a whole bunch of uh, important items. And whoops. We already got um Smithing Stone 4 from that platform there. Get going, Slack. Don't stop to comment. Let me go up the hill here. Right here, gonna stop and spawn the jellyfish ashes. And just hit anybody. Great. So now he's engaged. And that. This is what we want right here. That smithing stone, too. Or golden rune, too. Okay, and while the jellyfish is engaged, we're gonna go for that smithing stone right here. Uh oh. Got it, that's good. <laughs> and I'm gonna gather the rest on foot because it's a lot easier. Gonna get this here. Up here. Quickly grab this. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Got the rainbow stones. Okay, we got everything. That may not have been ideal, but um, that's the best way I found to get all that stuff. Is to release the jellyfish. Get that glo ghost glove right there. If I don't have time to comment on what I'm doing, just do exactly what I'm doing. Get that smithing stone four. That's important and get the F out of dodge and we're gonna go up the stairs golden rune 4 okay I'm just gonna do an inventory check two smithing stones 4 that is correct off to the left here is a preserving bolus just one is there. This will alleviate rot buildup. Alright, straight down here, and we can cut to the left and keep the wall on our right side, avoiding a big crab right here. Forget about the pickup, it's just, um, I think it's crab's eggs or something like that. It's nothing special, don't eat it. Up here to the east. Just around the corner here is another Ghost Glover. Grab that. Ghost Glover 1, rather. Hop off, hit up the side of Grace. Okay, see that pillar there? I'm gonna go just to the left of the pillar a little bit. Actually, no, go around this way. And right over here is another Ghost Glover. Ghost Glover 2. Get the map here. Watch it now. And gallop up the cliff's edge here. And we're going to get a slightly better shield than the one we have. Get some arterial leaf there and a shield. The inverted hawk heater shield. We currently have the beast crest heater shield. The inverted hawk heater shield is, um, it, it is better actually. Gallop down the same way you came up along the edge of the cliff, and we're gonna hop off the horse just before the stairs. Right here. And Golden Rune 6. And make a dangerous jump like that and go get the horn bow. Okay, so now we got that in our position. Let me just test out and see if it's gonna be too heavy for us to carry. Nope, we're still in medium low. Great. Excellent. Okay, whoa, 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 watch it now. Easy, easy. Up here, Trina's Lily here, and then we're going to gallop up the hill and veer off to the left a little bit to avoid getting shot by an archer. So gallop up here, straight ahead, and then veer to the left a little bit. The archer's going to shoot, then he misses you. And then keep going up this way, look for the spirit spring, and take it up. Up. Whee! Gallop along here. 
I like to hop off my horse here because I don't like to screw around while I'm up here. You get Ghost Glover 3. So now we have Ghost Glover 1, 2, and 3. Double jump up here. Whoop! But watch it now. Jump back here. And they usually like to go on foot from this point because they don't like to screw around on horse up here and get a stone sword key here. Double back on foot. And down here, I'm going to make the jump by foot across this little gap here. And next part is a little tricky. You got to hug the, the left wall as much as you can as you make your way down. Just keep hugging the left wall and you should be okay. Hug the left wall and we're good. And come around to this point here. This is the safe drop down. And go get the dwelling arrows right here. That's it. Now we can fast travel back to Shiafra Riverbank. Next. Now we head to the pillar. You gotta avoid those lightning balls there. See those lightning balls? So that's where we go to the pillar. Look around like this. And go to this little island here. Pick up somber smithing stone too. And some other stuff. And then keep going. Watch out for another lightning ball here. Jump up the steps here and cut to the right. Go past the gap, hop off your horse here. Sneak mode, goes clever too. Watch out for the lightning ball ahead. Look for the fire to the east. Get on your horse, head generally towards the fire, but veer off to the right a little bit to get a gold pickle foul foot right here. Get that, and you're gonna hop off your horse when you get to the fire. Sneak mode. Sneak up here to the east. Not too fast though, because there's going to be a whole bunch of guys spawning right about now. So watch out, you don't want to bump into them. And be doing like, you know. Get this gold rune 2 here. Okay, follow these guys. Sneaky, sneaky, not too fast. And get this shield grease here. Okay. Turn to the east, look for this big tree. Sneak just past it on this side, and you can see another pickup right here. This is a smithing stones too. And up to this path here. Watch out for that guy there. He's got his back turned to you. That's okay. And you're gonna clamber up on these blocks here. Up on the blocks. Get out the horse there. and get the smithing stone three. Safe drop down, right along the cliff's edge to the side of grace. Okay, stick to the edge of cliffs because there's some more bad guys off to your left. And look for this kind of like this tower-like thing here and there's a set of grace right here. Hey, this is basically my ultimate power start, but I've um, modified it a little bit. Watch out for that crab there. And we're going straight for that structure right there. See the scaffolding there? You're going to go here. Watch out for the crab on your right. Another crab here and a lightning ball. Double jump up here. And you want to double jump up on these steps here. And make a tricky jump across here like this. To this little platform. Go inside and get... Smithing stone three times two. Up here, you're going to have to deal with a couple of those spectral knights. Make sure you got your um, meteoric ore blade in hand. Go up to this guy. I missed. I meant to backstab him. Another one's going to come down. Gravitus. Again. And that should kill him. Yeah, I forgot to demonstrate the skill on the Meteoric or Blade. Basically, your character just stabs the sword into the ground like this. And it's kind of like this um, area of effect attack that sucks everything in and also does damage. It's really useful. Especially for getting guys around the corner. So get that sliver of meat there and up here. Get another golden room and make a sleep pot. Get that ready to go.
target this octopus down there with the sleep pot. Once he falls asleep, you can go down. May take a little damage. Grab this gold pickled foul foot. And this ghost glover too. Head due west into this little corner here. There's lots of octopus, land octopuses around here. Turn around here, see the fire, and see the pickup right there. That's a smithing stone four. We're gonna run in, grab it, and run out. Grab it and run out. Get away. This is just a furrow call falling. Blah. Okay, when well, there's a pickup just dead ahead to the east. You gotta kinda like negotiate in between these land octopuses. Gold Rune 4, and there may be another one around here. Don't worry about it though. It's fairly dangerous in there. And you see that octopus is just waking up now. <laughs> okay, so he head to the east. And see that like that kind of circular ramp thing there? You're gonna go underneath here. Get into sneak mode. This always happens, these things get in the way. Stick to the, the right side here. Grab these dwelling arrows. Now we gotta take out this guy up here with the glintstone pebble. Target him. Spam that pebble. Keep spamming the pebble to stagger lock him so he, he can't get his shot off. Okay, once you got that down. Look around. Jump up here. Don't worry about that thing. I don't think it's important. And up here. Get a somber too. I forget what that is. It's not that important. Don't worry about it. And take the teleporter. This as long as you get the dwelling arrows on the side of that like circular rampy thingy. <laughs> Okay, and then this will teleport you up here. Head due west. Put on your lamp. And maybe switch over to your torch. Get that going. You need lots of light. And you're going to go in here. Veer off to the right, the left side. And quickly pick up this thing here. Somber Smithing Stone 5. That's important. And out we go. Here we want to go onto a little rock island. It's kind of tricky. Kind of like want to hop off your horse right here. Up. And grab that. It's a lot easier if you get off your horse. Watch now. Head back to the northeast. You're going to hook around. Cut to the left here. And get a Ghost Glover at 5. We could potentially take this guy down, this boss here, um, with Rock Sling. I've done it before, but I didn't really have it planned. So I haven't practiced this. I don't want to screw it up for everybody. So uh, we'll just leave him alone. He's doable though. Go down here and get America Scar Seal. And keep following this route here. This is the safe drop down here. Go to the right here to the edge of the waterfall. Get a Ghost Clever 4. And double back here. And get a Golden Rune. And at this point, everybody should have Ghost Glover 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we can upgrade a special Spirit Ash to plus 5. And we're going to do that. That's huge. Okay, so go to the northeast here. You can drop down here. Watch it now. And go get the Golden Seed. Watch it now. Jeez. 
Okay, I'm losing focus because of my commentary. Head north, jump over here. This is kind of a skinny ledge you can go along here. Easy now, easy. And in here to get a rune arc. Easy, easy. Okay, and double jump up here. And where is that? Uh, right here. This is what you're looking for. Okay, let's make a jump across here. Okay, I'm gonna get on your horse here and jump towards that thing. Just jump so you get and just like let yourself drop down like that and get off your horse and carefully go around this skinny ledge. Yeah. That skinny ledge. And get a stone sword key. Now we can go back to she offer riverbank. Easiest way to get out that ledge. Alright, same thing. Go towards the pillar and then we're going to cut to the left of the little island to avoid this, the lightning balls. And take the teleporter. Okay, and what are we doing here, Slack? Oh yeah, that's right. Straight up here, to the northeast. Past these guys. Keep going. There's some enemies on your left. Just stick to the, the edge of the cliff here on your right. You should be fine. Watch out for the rats. Oh yeah, that's right, we're picking up the Madness Talisman. This thing here. This is important. The Clarifying Horn Charm is really important. Okay, we hook around here and carefully drop down here. Discover the Sight of Grace. Final thing. This goes clever three here. Alright, so that's it. That's the Shopper River run. Let's get back up top. And we are now going to East Lyurnia Lakeshore, which we discovered earlier. How much money do I have? Well, we'll do that later. First of all, let's rest. Okay, inventory. 12 ones, 12 twos, 12 threes. So we're working on fours. There's a smithing stone for where we're going here. So from here, just go due east. Look around to the north. Gallop straight through these two guys here. Keep hooking around, keep following the path. Past these guys here, they're gonna get a little upset. Right on top of this little rocky plateau here is a side of grace. Hit that up and get everybody off your ass. Rest.
Okay, eventually we're going to go into that, sneak into that enemy camp, but first let's go hit up these two flame slugs here. Blue stone pebble. A couple of pebbles each. And get some more smoldering butterfly. Okay, we're gonna sneak in here, get your sneak gone. Sneak right up here. Right there, that's the thing we want. It's gonna run in. Grab it. Watch it now! <laughs> and get the app out of dodge. Look for the stone bridge going across here to the southeast. You could also run in on foot. I think it's actually easier to run in on foot to get that. And go across the stone bridge. Double jump up here. Veer off to the left to this guy here and get a smithing stone four. This point we should have four, that's perfect. And we're going to another location that has eight smithing stones four, which will give us twelve total. Make sure you hit up this side of grace. And this is not really that important, but you might as well do it while you're here. And that is it. Um, let's go back to the round table. And upgrade the hornbow. Well, I took you for no matter. Lay out your arm. All right, up to plus ten, I think we can go. And I ran out of money. Back already, no matter. Did we pick up any golden runes? Yes, we did. We got tons of golden runes. Watch it now. Don't want to sell those. There you go. Lots of money. Now we're missing smithing stones for. And we got lots and lots of money. Let's level up bigger. That'll work up to 15. And I'm going to take a little pit stop here because um, I'm not sure what to do next. I'm going to have to look at my laptop and I don't want to use up too much time. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I remember what to do. Um, we got a bow. We don't want to use these good arrows. Um, let's go get some crappy arrows. Church of Ella. It's flying right along here. All right. Okay, we got money too. Ah, always. I'd say about fifty crappy arrows. These, uh, these right here. Yeah, fifty will do. Goodbye. Hook them up. Are they ready to go? Bow up. Back up here to Northern Liger near Lakeshore. Let's go make some more money and get another memory stone. Okay, out here. Watch out for the um, the land octopuses. You see these balloons here? Each balloon is worth 2,000 runes. All you have to do is gun it down. Oops. There we go, Golden Rune 6. You do this on horseback very quickly. Make sure you target the balloon. And you don't want to deal with the marionettes because they're a hassle. See, they drop to the ground. You could gun them down, but they're a real hassle. 
especially in this area with a whole bunch of dragonflies flying around, which are going to hijack your lock-on. So just aim, lock onto the balloon, shoot it, get that golden rune 6, and run. There's five of them. There we go. Now, conveniently enough, there's a side of grace here. Switch over to Meteor Meteoric Ore Blade. I'm gonna call it the Ore Blade henceforth. Because Meteoric Ore Blade is just too much of a mouthful. Okay, hit up the side of grace. I'm gonna go up the hill here. This is a turtle puzzle. Read the book. You have to find three turtles. Head to the north. Kill this turtle. Turn to the southeast. Look for the blue flowers. One patch of blue flowers and another patch of blue flowers here. Look up. Use your gravitas attack on your... <coughs> Pardon me. On your ore blade to bring that turtle down. Go to the edge of the cliff here. Gallop along the edge of the cliff. And look down here and you find a final turtle right here. Kill him and that will open the seal. On test 2's rise. Let's go back up. See, there was a seal blocking this door previously and now it's gone. <clears throat> Pardon me. Go all the way up and get another memory stone for free. Shazam, who loves you? Next, back down to Laskiar Runes. Right here, just put a beacon just straight across from Laskar Ruins, just to the east here. Gotta watch out for a killer lobster lurking around here. Right there. Okay, so... This is Purified Ruins, I believe, something like that. Just gonna gallop along the shore here, there's a, this killer lobster over there. Purified Ruins. Okay, all the way up here. And this is where we want to be. We see where the banners are. First thing you want to do is kill a doggy out in the field here, just to make sure he doesn't like get up in your face. Next, kill the watchman. Okay, switch over to your blade. Come through here. Roll through this debris here, and down into the cellar. Get a very important item. Two fingers heirloom. You could pick this up too, but I don't think we're going to use it. And now we're going to go back to the round table. And everybody should have two stone. We got three stone story keys, so we got plenty. Back down here, and you're gonna use your two stone sword keys, two of them here. So, we'll open up this secret door, and we can go into this chest here and get a prayer book. Assassin's Prayer Book, this is really, really important for this build. I'm going to bring this to Brother Cor Corhin. Corhin? Corhin? Oh. This guy I here. See you've just Welcome to the round table hold. How do you pronounce your name? I'm Corin. Corin, okay. And I teach ink and explore the sea so that one day, ensuring order by the way. Champion's dialogue. Tell him you see it. Most tarnished of you are something. Well, 
20. And given the prayer book, that the assassin is prayer a book. Work of heresy. Yeah, really. Eh? Very well. This will allow you to buy darkness, and we don't have the money for it, so we're going to have to figure that out first thing next video, but we need that. Okay, but at least he has it for sale now. And that is it. That's the end of this run. Wow. Another rapid run with uh, um, live commentary Slack. Thanks a lot for watching. If you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.